Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the new Hawkmoon mission. Now it's located on the EDZ as a secret mission uh, and it gets you random rolled Hawkmoon weapons. I think it's the first completion you get them. And obviously this is how you get the catalyst. It's 33% per completion. So all the weapons and armor that I'm using obviously is on the screen at the moment. I'll be switching between the Yan 7 and the Pedition pulse rifles just for the elemental burn uh, because it seems like there's match game on this or something like that uh, because you just don't touch the shields unless you're using a matching element uh, war mine cell build great for ad clearance and this is where you start the mission now this is a flawless run and there is a triumph for doing it flawless there's also an emblem for doing it solo now some people have said this is like the whisper of the zero hour I don't think it's anything like those missions. This is more like the other side, which was the mission we done for the Bad Juju. It's not too challenging. A couple of little bits that I could see maybe some people having trouble with. And hopefully this guide will help you get past that, no problem. So when you come in, you're basically going to be going through the walls of the, the trough land to make it out to the, the dam that you normally would would make it across the top of for the Lake of Shadow strike. So just follow where I'm going in the video. And we're gonna make my way outside. When you make when you get to this door, you're gonna activate the door. Once you go outside, you're gonna have a taken hobgoblin sniper. So get through the door, go under these pipes, go up the stairs, and the taken hobgoblin will just be across to the left. Just take the goblin out and then jump over to where the goblin was. And then just kind of look down to your right, you'll see like a, a just a branch sticking out. It's really innocuous. Uh, land on the branch and jump over towards the dam. There is a little pathway right here as you see me land on it. I'm going to run along here and as soon as we get to this part, it's kind of the first open part. You can land on the top as you can see my, my warlock said no, but you can land there. Jump up two levels and then jump out to your right and you'll see the entrance below that little kind of ledge make your way down these pipes jump up and we're in the first kind of the first real encounter now in this encounter you're gonna you, you can see there you've got the hunt hunt the emissaries there are three of them as soon as you come out you'll be faced with one you're not gonna kill them here you're just gonna do about half damage maybe not even that and when they go shielded all the ads that were with them will disappear with the emissary now, in this area, as I say, you've got three emissaries, uh, a void-shielded wizard, a solar-shielded solar captain, and an arc-shielded cabal. You're also going to have these snipers. Now, there are four, I think there's four snipers in the area, but every time you make one of the emissaries disappear into their little rooms, you'll get another sniper, which will appear in front of the doorway for that, that uh, emissary. So this one we've just passed now that one will be the void shielded uh, wizard so what i like to do is i like to get rid of all the emissaries first so go over and i've, I've went over and i've took out the first sniper i take the snipers as i'm going don't like to leave them up because they can become very troublesome so i take the the arc, the, the, the void shielded wizard and i go and take the snipers and i make my way down and you've got this arc shielded cabal and now that we've made him go, you've seen, you might have seen a little, a, a little visual kind of uh, marker to say that it's like it's like a little flash, a taken flash. That lets you know another sniper has entered the area, and there he is. So that that room there, that is going to be your arc shielded cabal. We're going to make our way all the way over to the other side because that's where the solar captain is. Now you might have just caught out the corner of your eye. And there's a, a void, there's a taken cabal over there. That's going to be the exit. So I always leave that up just so that I know where I'm going. Even though there's a marker, I figured it would be good for the video if there was like a... Rather than just, you know, if pe people just want to make, you know, not wait for the marker to appear or whatever. They can just look for that cabal and that's where they've got to go. So once you've made all the emissaries disappear, you're going to come up here. There's all the three, the three rooms are all in the same rough place. So... This one will be the one we just dealt with because there was a sniper there. So I took out all the other snipers. So we're just left with the the, 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 the last 
the last emissary that we made disappear will be left with, with that one to deal with first. So once you get into this room, you're going to jump up here, and then over to this room, you're going to have a Void Wizard. And then, as you can see here, I'm going to switch, and I'm going to put on the Perdition because I've got two Void Shielded uh, Acolytes. I'll take them out, and there's my Solar Captain. Xenophage makes light work of them. And there we go. That's the first emissary taken care of. Switch back because any other void enemies, most of the other void enemies, we're going to be able to take out pretty easily with what grenades. So the three rooms you're going to go to, two of them are facing each other. And depending on which room you uh, you come out of last, so as you can see, we're coming out of... Uh, We'll be coming out of the, the, the Arc Shielded Cabal's room, which is over here. Uh, the other one will either be on your right or your left. If you're coming out of the higher room, it will be down to your right. And if you're coming out of the lower room, it will be out to your left. So, as you can see, when we came into this room with the Arc Shielded Cabal, what i done was I, I turned up to the left. Because there will always be two goblins. Uh, there will always be two goblins up there. You don't want to be trying to shoot this cabal of these two goblins behind you so as you can see i'm going to change back to the void because the last one we're going to deal with is the wizard the wizard is the most annoying so as you can see if you if if you if you do the the low room first and then the high room next you're going to be down to your right and if it's the low room you do last the second then you'll be coming out and going down to your left so when you come in here you're going to have two goblins and in this room i found the trickiest because it's a lot of enemies in a small place. It's not tricky, tricky, but I never had my my well. I thought he did my rift. I thought he did, so I had to get out of there. You can see it was pretty close, but that's because I didn't have my rift. I do now, so I can re-engage. I got my grenade back as well. So this, the the wizard kind of hides a lot. This is what I would normally do: is just put put the put the 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 rift up right at that kind of edge of that door, because you do get. a just a touch of uh, cover there. Once you've took out all three of the emissaries, now you can leave this area. So as you can see, I've got a mission marker there, uh, and it will it will change. There you go, and it will take us down here, which is where the cabal guy was. So we're going to shoot, kill this cabal, and then we're kind of going to be doing what I. It's kind of the first encounter, a boss encounter, if you look, or or a. Uh, ad encounter it's, it's it's nothing really it's just the other thing I, I should have mentioned which you probably would have if you if you did look at the mods and you had a look at the armor we do have unstoppables in here so i will put that in the in the description so that people are aware of that before they actually start watching the video and make sure they've got that mod on their arms so when you get in here i always like to go up here now the first two waves will change they won't always be the same wave because normally i get the arc shield of cabal wave first and then the last uh, I've, I've done this a couple of times the last couple of times i've done it i've got the the taken captains first but i decided i'm not gonna i wasn't gonna change you can see how much damage you take you really do take a lot of damage i wasn't gonna change my strategy because i don't want to be on the ground level when the snipers come out because when the snipers come out you're going to have arc arc shielded cabal you're going to have some unstoppables you're going to have snipers and and a whole mess of other ads so i'm, I'm j there's always two of these guys so i'm looking for the other one there he is i can see i've got heavy so i am going to go down because i want that heavy because anybody who's been watching my channel for long enough will know i've always preached about heavy ammo consumption and watching your ammunition and so we're just going to find this captain one hit from the xenophage and the explosion normally kills them then you want to get back up there because these snipers you don't want to have to deal with these snipers on the ground because well they, they are very accurate so as you can see what i've done took out the first two snipers and then i'm i'm just going to wait for this cabal to come around before i break break his shield two hits and now i'm already thinking about the other snipers now i had it i was i was lucky there that i had the war main sale which took out nearly all the snipers except for that one uh you'll normally see me taking them out with xenophage that's normally what i do because that's just a pain in the backside when they do that i'd prefer them just to be dead 
So I'll just break that war main sail, and then I'm going to be looking for the next arc shielder cabal. Now I started to get hit from behind, so I knew it was the arc shielder because I had a look, and the unstoppable was there. As soon as I take that take that down, I'm off. I'm down. Now we can be mobile. The next set of ads we're going to get is loads of loads of throw and shadow throw, and two void wizards. Now you might have noticed that the ads you're facing here, the shielded ads, not the unstoppables obviously the shielded ads mirror the the emissaries so you get two arc shielded cabal two solar shielded captains and now you've got two void shielded wizards so i'm just going to burn my super just to clear one of them out of the way so i'm not having to charge around when there's two wizards about and there we go and i will just one main sell that now now, I actually thought, as you can see, I've got two unstoppables, so there's three unstoppables in this area. I actually thought I was done with the ads, but I'm not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this point, and I'm going to stop both of them. Now, what I'm going to do is just hit the last one that I stopped, just put some shots, and then go. But there's a ton of thrall around here. So I've got my grenade back, so jump up, drop the grenade down, and keep going. If you get in trouble, it's worth circling the outside of this room if you can't get up high. The upside of the the up the outside of the room is there's a fair bit of cover. You you can make it round there reasonably. As you can see, I got hit there on red bar, but going round the outside provides me with that cover. I've got reasonable recovery, so I know if I can get even a couple of seconds without getting hit, I'll re regen all my health. I've also got spoils of war on, so if I can finish a champion, I'm going to get heavy back. So it kind of, most of the time it works out that I get the heavy back that I've actually used to, to get the, the champion. You know, I'm I, I'm never in a deficit from doing that. Last couple of ads, the, the chest won't appear here until you've took all the ads. And that's the first part of this done now. What's, what you're left with here is, if you can get to this point, and as you say, we're still flawless. If you can get to this point, the chances are, following this guide, you will go flawless. You'll do this, you'll get the triumph and all the rest of it. So, now I'm going to I'm, I'm going to change back to Void. Because in the final room, it's, apart from the captains, everything else is Void. So it's it's worthwhile making sure you've got a good void weapon. You might have noticed I've got taken spec on. Taken spec improves your shot damage with with the void pulse rifle that I'm using or any weapon that you're using by about ten percent. So if you don't know how to get taken spec and you haven't got it, I'm gonna link a video at the end of this showing you how to get the chests in the Dreaming City. Uh, which is where you get it. If you're not doing the raid consistently, then you can do the chest. Now, you have to be very careful here because, as you'll see, I thought I could just run across there and I managed to save it. But just be very careful. Don't don't take it for granted when you get there because I've, I've actually done this a few times and I still had that issue. So it can happen to anybody. So just be careful. There really aren't great footing on uh on that on those rocks so luckily i managed to save it get straight back here no problem and you're gonna have just just dotted around you're just gonna have a few little ads watch out for these uh, the taking kind of blue walls watch out for those uh and just just be careful assess where you're going first now assess where you're going first because as you can see i went the wrong way so, uh, when you get to this point, there's like a pipe on the wall you need to go along. Uh, so, as you can see, when you make guides like this, obviously I tried to do this at a decent pace. It Just to show you guys that it's, it's not that difficult. Uh, and, and, and I went the wrong way. So, this is the start of what... This is basically what you're going to be facing now at the boss. Is Void Shielded Acolytes... Who are gonna almost just relentlessly uh, spawn uh, taken eyes when you break? Now the, the the great thing is because they're void shielded. When you break their shield, the explosion normally will take out any of the eyes that are around them. So we're almost at the boss. So let me just explain the way the boss works. 
you're going to have, obviously, a big taking knight, which wouldn't be much of a boss battle if you didn't have a big boss. But on the right and the left, you're going to get wa a wave of ads on each side that are going to spawn. You're going to have a taken captain in there, and you're going to have a heap of goblins and and uh, void shielded acolytes. Now, kind of the way this works is we're gonna we're gonna attack from one place. We might have to come out to get ammo. We might have to come out just to kill the odd ad here or there. The ad you want to take down. You'll see me take down some of the acolytes first. The ad that is the most dangerous is the Taken Knight. The the solar shielded Taken Knight. He's the most dangerous. Uh, we've got one more unstoppable just around the corner here. So we're going to take out these two elite hobgoblins. And then and then what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to go straight for the, for the champion. Uh, what I'm going to do is it's just over there. To our left. I'm going to go over here. Round to the right. Now be and another thing you should really look out for. Is when you're doing this. You, you're going to see uh, on the floor. On top of ledges. You're going to see taking uh, hawks. That's part of the. There's a triumph for finding them all in one week. I actually didn't spend a ton of time looking for them. But I did find I think two or three. So this is us at the boss. When you get here. You'll have your super. You'll have your grenade. Don't throw them straight away because this, he didn't do it there, but he likes to just, you can see that the, the grenade and the super just sends him away. Uh, he likes to come out and run straight away and you can, uh, you can completely whiff your super. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the, the this is the wave of ads. I'm just going to toss a grenade uh, over there to see if I can get, break some of these uh, shields. Maybe get a bit of uh, collateral going. The idea here is you will keep getting, you will keep getting waves as long as the captains are up. Uh, taking knights, sorry. As long as the taking knights are up, you'll still keep getting waves of void shielded acolytes. It's worthwhile to get rid of those acolytes as fast as possible. So I'll put another grenade right over there. As you can see with the goblins being about as well, there's one taking uh, knight. So now by rights when we take out all the enemies on this side all the void shielded acolytes we shouldn't get another wave unless of course that it's just you know the one thing i haven't considered because you know when you're in the heat of battle sometimes you don't you don't get a chance to have a look at stuff like this i'm not sure if it's because the the the, the, the spawns do work on it on, on a per side ratio you know uh if one taking knights up, you might get both waves. You know, I don't think that's the way it works. I'm just saying, be careful because, as I say, I've seen the spawns change. I've seen the what what ad what ads you get first. Now we'll find out here. I don't think so. I think it's just per side. I think I was, I might have been right to start with. It's not like me. So, what I kind of do is. The other thing is, unlike the rest of this this area, unlike the rest of this place, uh, when you kill the the ad, which is the taken knight in this area, the rest of the ads won't despawn, and he won't come back until all the ads are cleared. So as you can see, I I actually ran away to pick up ammo, thinking I could take this this. I don't know if I managed to get this ad from out here. Ah, uh, maybe I do. So once we take him. You'll see, now we've got the spawn. I don't have my super, but I've got a ton. And absolutely, you see there, there, that's exactly what I was talking about. He will just get off on his mark, he's gone. Uh, if you were to throw your Nova, it wouldn't track him. Because he's, he's, he's running away too fast. So, yeah, so basically what, what you're wanting to do here is now... Didn't have our super, so we couldn't just make him go immediately. Now the hobgoblins have got a chance to get involved. Uh, the danger here is because because you're in such a tight area, is avoiding his solar damage. If you can make him, if you can get him out of there quick enough, as you can see he fires it. If he fires it to a side, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm running from that side. 
managed to just just use xenophage i'm not too worried about burning through the xenophage because as you can see i've got quite a few bricks on the floor and once i can get him to go and he's going to go in any minute now there we go once the shield goes up he's going i'm just going to run over here and get any xenophage that i need i've got a, a war mine cell there i just held off until i felt like the ads had spawned in and now we're back to back to doing this again break the shields clear the ads the faster you get rid of the knights don't now don't put yourself out to try and get rid of them as you can see there i'm going to just throw a grenade over on these goblins because if there's a ton of goblins in the area it's really difficult to just focus fire one ad might be right so that's one gone and we've got a war mine cell and i've got if you as i say i'll put it in the description the war mine cell build that i've went with i've got fire fire team medic and get rid of this knight quickly there see sometimes opportunism is exactly what you need in these situations i've seen it i've seen the opportunity to be able to take that knight which then kind of frees up frees up the ability to you know move a bit more without getting that rain of fire uh now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take these last two ads. Uh, yeah, so, so we are going to do all your attacking from the back. You've got two rocks right and left. If you if, if the boss fires fires uh, flames and fire at one rock, just go, jump across to the other rock. You you you'll be fine there. And just you know, if if, if your weapons aren't, if you feel like you're not doing the, the damage or you can't get the damage, just hold off till you get your super because as you can see super does a load of damage to him and that's the end of the run so uh thank you very much for watching guys i hope this helps you guys get your solo flawless uh enjoy the emblem i will be doing this on all three characters for people that have maybe only run a hunter or only run titan uh and i will put it should be on the screen any minute now how to get the taken spec without actually doing the raid so thanks a lot for watching guys, I always appreciate the support, if you did enjoy the video a like would be greatly appreciated, take it easy guys and I will see you in the next video.